here we are going to learn about instance method static method and class methods in python if we create a method inside a class like this it is called as instance method by default a method or function is a instance method the first argument of a instance method is reference to the object itself generally we use the term self self is reference to a particular employee object instance method work on a particular instance data okay for example if you, this is employee class there will be multiple employee object right each and every employee object has its own data right if 100 employees are there in an organization each and every 100 employee has their own id name basic salary and hr that will be different right okay so instance functions work on this particular instance data okay. here i am creating an employee even is an instance we call instance method on an instance of a particular class this is the employee class and this is an instance and we call that particular instance method on a particular instance instance dot or object dot its function name okay next we will see static method this is actually called as a decorator okay if we decorate a function with static method it is considered a static method in order to call a static method it is not required to create object okay we can call static method without creating object here i have created a logic to compute gratuity okay so if you pass basic salary and year of service it will compute the gratuity amount okay and return it okay for that it is not using this particular data so it is working on whatever the input parameter it is getting based on that it is doing some computation for doing that it is not required to access this particular data right so such functions can be considered as a static method so if you think that if you are creating a function that is not depend on a particular employee but a general utility a general functionality that can be called without creating an object those kind of functions can be considered as static method we can decorate such method with at static method okay so for the static method there is no concept of self okay it is not referring any instance that is why static method has no self like instance method okay it is expecting only the exact parameter okay i hope you got some idea about static method okay static method is called like this we can call if there is an employee object we can call even dot compute gratuity this particular function is using only the parameter to the function not using the a particular employee state okay generally we call static method using class name this is the class name right okay this class has this particular static method so we can call class name dot static method and provide the values okay so since even is an employee object we can call even dot compute gratuity or we can call employee dot compute gratuity okay so this is the way we can call a static method okay static method is not depending on the data of a particular object okay it is working on this particular parameters okay such functions you can create a static method okay i hope you got some idea about static method the next type of method is called as class method here i have created a function okay and here i have decorated that with at class method if you decorate like this it is called as class method for a class method the first argument is reference to the class itself what is a class here reference to this particular employee okay 
क्लास मेथड्स आर जनरली यूज एज ए फैक्ट्री मेथड फैक्ट्री मेथड्स फॉर क्रिएटिंग ऑब्जेक्ट्स दैट मींस ही हियर आई हैव क्रिएटेड एम्प्लॉई हाउ आई हैव क्रिएटेड एम्प्लॉई आई हैव कॉल्ड एम्प्लॉई सो व्हाट विल हैपन दिस पर्टिकुलर इनिट फंक्शन गेट कॉल्ड राइट ओके वाइल इनिशियलाइजिंग आई नीड टू पास आईडी नेम बेसिक एचआर एंड बेस्ड ऑन दैट आई एम इनिशियलाइजिंग इट ओके if you think that the initialization process of your employee is a bit complex we can provide different factory methods to create employee objects so here i am i have created a function okay here i am expecting name basic hra okay here i have in provide id of the employee so if id of the employee is not provided maybe he, here i have simply used uh, class dot default id that means this is the default id i am referring this particular variable okay and i am passing that value to class means reference to the employee that means it is equivalent to providing employee or we can use cls okay so here it is retaining it is basically doing this particular call okay but before calling this it is preparing the values okay here i have provided an id sometimes we may need to get a new id maybe from a database system or something okay or we need to do some computation on this incoming values and uh, modify those value and provide that to the init function okay such kind of things are needed we can use class method so if i here i am creating an employee object right employee dot create employee class i have in provided id i have just provided name basic and hra that is the argument right okay so think about we need to get data maybe from a database or something okay think about we need to get uh, the new id from a database or some complex generation logic and all okay so what we can do we can do that particular computation here and pass that to the init function think about you are creating this particular class some other developer is creating an employee object from some other module he is not aware about how to create an id okay think about Uh, the id has to be get from a database system and uh, we need to increment the value and all so he need to do that particular he need to learn about how to do that and how to increment those value and uh, apply that okay and pass that value here right okay and like that if your employee object is use, used in multiple different modules uh, by def different developers and all they all need to learn about how to create an em employee id and all right instead of that you are creating a function and providing that in your class and other developers can use this function to create an employee object without bothering about how this particular employee id and all get created okay this is a handy method to create employee objects okay so that is the normal use case for a a class method okay I hope you got some idea about what is the difference between instance method and static method and class methods in Python. Thanks for watching this.